In this video we're going to go over how to use the uh, transparency tool in CorelDRAW. I've had a request from a person that's having trouble following the instructions in CorelDRAW and I didn't research it to see but I suspect possibly they're missing a step so I thought a video would be um, even more useful. So here we go. Um, as you can see on my page here I have a picture of my yellow lab uh, his name's Bumper, and um, we're going to use that along with uh, just another simple shape, just to show you how this tool works. We're not really going to get into um, exactly where you would use it to, to get what type of effect too much, but um, just getting the tool to work. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle here, get my rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw a rectangle on my page, and I'm going to make it... Um, solid blue. Now as we can see that rectangle is completely uh, covers the uh, picture. It's not transparent at all. But what we're going to do is give that a transparent property so that we can um, adjust the how much we can see through that. That's the first thing we're going to do. So we have that uh, rectangle selected. We're going to go over here to um, this tool right here and click on this flyout box and select our interactive transparency tool. So we'll click on that. Now when we when we highlight the tool it's expecting us to draw a line or something here showing the um, like a, a, um, a direction of the amount of transparency that we want to use but what we're going to do is go right up here where it says none that's why you can see so far we have no transparency and um, rather than making it linear or radial or anything we're just going to click on uniform and right away you can see that um, our box um, is now set if you look at these settings it's set at 50 percent transparent um, so we're going to click off of that tool and get our select tool and i'm just going to go ahead and drag this rectangle so that it covers up our photograph and as you can see it this blue is 50 percent transparent and um, kind of shades our picture now if we go back to the transparency tool we can adjust this to be higher higher transparency or even less transparent uh, both ways again we're on uniform um, that's the setting we have so it's uniform across the whole area of our rectangle if we was to select linear as you can see we can adjust it starts with 0% transparent over here all the way to 100 transparent over here and we could move our slider in here to adjust the transparency um, I'm going to move it back here to uniform just to show us how it works here so that's how easy it is to make a, an object transparent um, in this case we took just took this rectangle that's blue and we made it transparent I'll move it up here as you can see we can see through it um, it gives you kind of a blending color effect when you put that over something else um, and to show that that works on any type of object we're going to take this picture here which is just an RGB bitmap and we're going to go here to our transparency tool again we're going to click on the tool I'll go back up here to uniform click uniform and now you can see that this image uh, which is a bitmap is has a 50 percent transparency applied to it uh, we could move that back here to um, a lower number which makes it less transparent which means you know the image is going to be brighter if you're really looking for a washed out look maybe for the background or something you could put it even to a higher transparency and as we zoom in here we can see we kind of get a a watermark uh, type look um, that could be useful um, of course when you overlap things um, both objects have a transparency and we'll just put one more object up here on the screen let's undo that let's do a solid gold object here we'll turn the outline off and we'll move it to the back of our page order 
back of page and then we'll slide it up in here and we'll zoom in you can see that the blue we can see through to the yellow here we can see through our blue we can see it through our photograph and still see this gold behind here and this gold here you can see through our photograph and see the gold back here different shading looks kind of almost like a gel filter or something like that it can change you know just give you all kind of different looks and don't re don't forget if you want to adjust the transparency of a particular object you select it then select your transparency tool you'll get your options up here um, we can make it less transparent kind of gives us an interesting effect right there uh, there's some other objects up here um, if you want to get rid of that transparency altogether you don't want it to be transparent anymore you can just click on the clear transparency tool boom our photograph is back it's no longer transparent our blue box is our gold box is now completely hidden by the photograph because it is behind it and it's not transparent so hopefully that makes uh, some sense and it will, you'll find it useful in beginning to use the transparency tool uh, it's a pretty powerful tool um, used in a lot of different applications so hope you enjoyed the video